Hey Jaco, do you want to add an effect to an audio clip like an echo, like an echo like an... but the effect ends abruptly because the clip is too short? I'll show you how to extend the audio clip inside DaVinci Resolve so that the effect lasts as long as you want. Now let's get digital. So what you can expect, this is the original sound and this is the one that I've extended and added some effects to it. And as you can see, this audio clip is a lot longer than this one and I've simply extended it. How can you do that? I'll show you. I'll be using this audio clip in this example, so we also have some voice. A few moments later. You probably heard this one before. Now what I will do, I'll make a duplicate of this audio. So I will hold Alt, click, so only the audio is selected, still holding Alt, put it down. As you can see, I can't extend the audio clip. But why I've made the duplicate is that so I have reference to the original and I will mute the original one, go to the Fairlight page and this is now the duplicate. As you can see audio one is muted and this is the one that I'll be working with. As you can see we still can't extend the audio but what we can do is right click and go to Elastic Weave and we have two options, Voice and General Purpose. Now because we have some voice in this clip, we can also use the voice option. And when you select the elastic weave option, a black line appears, which indicates that this is an elastic weave clip. We can now extend it, but we have to mouse over the clip in about the midway point, so you get this icon, and now you can simply extend the clip. But before you do, let me use Ctrl Z, you should put the playhead over the clip, I'll put it here, hold control, as you can see the icon now changes, and click. This makes a keyframe, and we see a line, a red line appears. I will go to this point, just before it ends, also hold control, and make a new keyframe. Now when I clicked at this point, the icon was like so, and now the elastic weave is gone. So I have to open it up again, and even though it is checked, I still have to check it, so I get it back. So let me make a line here. Go to this position, so we get this icon, and now I can extend the clip. Now the whole clip is still extending, but because I have a reference on the top, I can adjust these two keyframes. Now this is extending a bit too much, so I can simply make a new keyframe, control and click, then shorten this back up. And if I want, I can also select this one, so let me move this one here, I can select this one, press backspace to delete it, and I'll simply move this one. Holding Alt, and use the scroll wheel to zoom out, extend this one to as long as you want it to be, and I could also put a keyframe here, just so I have the whole waveform where I want it to be. So let's zoom in, find the position where this should be. Let's make a new one. A few moments later. That sounds good. And if you want to apply some effects, I'll go back into the edit page. As you can see, this clip is now way longer, probably about four times as long, almost. I can go to effects, audio effects, and we have a bunch of them. We can add some echo. A few a moments few later. later. Moment. A few, a few, a few moments, moments later. later. A few, a few moments, moments later. later. A few moments later. So as you could hear, the echo lasted all the way to this point. And if I add echo to this clip, it would end at this point. And what I can also do is use the reverb option. Maybe something like that.
And if you have the Soundly Playset plugin, which is free, you can also place this one and we'll have a bunch of presets so don't have to mess about with these options. Houston we have a problem, let's see. I could go to the inspector, effects, disable the echo and reverb and see what I have. And then simply maybe add the echo back in. At this point the echo still stopped at this point, so I can go back into the Fairlight page, simply extend the clip, position this back, and this is how you can extend an audio clip in DaVinci Resolve if you apply some effects to them so they don't end abruptly. And if you found this video helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jacko, keep it digital.